This morning we are going to be staging logs to get ready to do some processing today and tomorrow. I want to get uh, I want to get a bunch of logs cut to length, cleaned up, and uh, have everything laid out and ready to go on the processor or next to the processor, just so I can make it uh, processing go a lot faster. So as you can see, a lot of these logs that I get, <clears throat> they are very crooked. And some of them have some pretty nasty knots in them and crotches and whatever. So this log is too long to fit on the live deck or on the infeed. It's just uh, it's so long that it won't balance on there, so I need to cut it. Um, being that it's crooked, I might try to cut it in a place where the the bend in the log won't have as much effect when it goes through the machine. Uh, that's important because you don't really want to fight with these things once they're up on the live deck or going into the infeed conveyor. If they're crooked on the infeed conveyor, they can become a real, a real hassle. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Just getting these cut up and uh, cut to length. I need a when I cut these, the minimum length that I cut is eight feet, and that's because of the width of the live deck. All right. So the first thing I have to do is put the grapple on the tractor. Now, one of the nice things about this frostbite grapple is when you close it completely it will sit on like a tripod so the two the two forks and the end of the the grapple form a tripod and it sits there nicely doesn't fall over now I have it sitting on a pallet if you sit it in the mud your results may vary but that's very handy Now I have these marked so they always go back on the same way. That's important. If you don't put them on the same way every time then the uh, controls will be backwards. I like to have this arranged where when the grapple moves around it's not torquing on this on these lines too hard. What I should have done and I, I even said this when I when I welded this bracket in place I should have had this in the center or maybe a little farther over to the other side. And I may do that yet because I do have a pretty good amount of uh, slack in these lines right here. So if I move the bracket, it'll take up some of this. Not that it's a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But anyway, that's grapple installed. Getting ready to do some work. Alright, I'll start the uh, MS-661. So we're 
hit the uh, compression release, squeeze the trigger, put the choke on, and then crank it. This log is 27 feet long, maybe a little bit over that. So I'm gonna cut it at roughly uh, 13 feet, and that should be good enough. The maximum length of log on the uh, Cord King is uh, 20 feet.
Okay, well, I'm going to stop the video there. Suffice to say that everything you just saw me do, I'm going to continue to do for the remainder of the day or until the next interruption or project happens. I got a bunch of logs staged for tomorrow or maybe even this afternoon, depending on how things go. But, uh, Got a nice pile here, all trimmed up, ready to go through the machine. Got most of the stubs and other things that can hang up on the machine. Got them cut off. Everything's cut to a reasonable length. Got some logs stacked up on the machine. And now we have to move on to the next project. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later.